Patients with celiac were asked to fill out a questionnaire. This is in the journal Pediatrics regarding, do you have any neurologic symptoms? Their medical charts were reviewed, and those who reported as having neurologic manifestations underwent neurologic exams and brain imaging or electroencephalograms if required. They looked at 111 celiac patients and 211 controls, meaning no celiac disease. What did they find? Neurologic disorders or findings were found in half of the kids with celiac. They just didn't know because they never asked them. Kids came in because they don't feel good or they had, they had tummy problems or they had colds and flus. But when they looked, they, saw, they found half of them had symptoms of, of neurologic symptoms and they were celiacs. What kind of symptoms? Hypotonia, developmental delay, epilepsy, learning disabilities and attention deficit, headaches, ataxia. In kids, patients who have celiac with migraines or nonspecific headache were also markedly improved with the institution of a gluten-free diet. Malabsorption did not play a significant role in the pathogenesis of headaches, and one should look for other causes, including inflammation or immunologic mechanisms. We conclude the spectrum of neurologic disorders in patients with celiac is wider than previously appreciated and includes, in addition to previously known entities such as ataxia, epilepsy, and neuromuscular diseases, milder and more common problems, often called soft symptoms, such as migraines, learning disabilities, attention deficit.